Hello again everybody. This is Mr. Everything and I'm coming at you with another one of my peripheral videos. This is probably the, the most important peripheral video or one of the most important peripheral videos that I'll be doing. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is our control stick, our joystick or our control system, either HOTAS or control stick. All right, so let's start talking about a little bit of a low-end uh, control stick. You've got the Logitech Extreme Pro right here. Uh, this Extreme Pro uh, that I've been using for, I don't know, 100 years? No, I've been using this thing for probably, to be honest, probably about 10, 15 years. I've been using this thing a pretty long time. Uh, and you can see... And it's a pretty nice looking joystick. Uh, it's got a lot of weight to it. Okay. This is a metal bottom right here. This is metal. Okay. Uh, it does have rubber booties on there so it doesn't slide around on your desk. Uh, it does have a number of different buttons. You've got your trigger. You've got your thumb button. You've got four buttons up here. You even have a hat switch. Uh, and then of course you've got your six buttons down here. And what's kind of cool is it's got a built in throttle right there where you can use this to throttle up and down. Uh, a lot of your flight sims. I've been using this joystick uh, to play all my flight sims, basically anything that I needed a joystick for. This is the stick that I was going with. It's only about $25 to $30. Okay, this is an awesome joystick. It's worth the investment. Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm rough on joysticks. I mean, I really am. I will yank and twist, and push and pull and and I had some other previous flight sticks like Thrustmaster, I've had a few of those, and they just break on me. And then I've had, uh, I didn't have, the, I never had a Cytec, uh, but I have had, I've had a Logitech, um, what was the one? There was one called a Wingman, I think, a Wingman. I can't remember what it was, Wingman. Maybe it was called a Wingman. Um, that was the one I had before this. I broke it, and then I got this one, and this was a long time ago, 15 years probably. And and I've yanked and pulled and tried to break this thing, and I have not been able to break this thing. Uh, I'm not saying it can't be broken. I'm not saying that some of you haven't already broken yours. But I'm saying that I have not broken this, and it has done me very well for the amount of abuse that I've put this thing through. For the price, you know, $25, you can't beat it. Now, I was looking for something a little bit more high fidelity, a little bit more uh, high and something with a little bit more buttons on the handles because what I found uh, when I game I, I've got a lot of preset buttons and they all can't go on that joystick okay and I would have to reach over and touch something on the keyboard and I because it's not directly in my hands I'd have to look over at the keyboard and I'd have to type and what it was doing it was slowing me down you know I'd have to go for my landing gear or I'd have to go raise flaps or something like that I know I can program some of the buttons that are on the flight stick, but I had more buttons that I needed than was on the flight stick. So I went ahead and got the X55 Rhino hands-on throttle and stick system, and uh, that's the one I will be using with Star Citizen. That's the, that's the system you see right here with uh, the joystick right here on a solid base right there, um, and I will be doing a review on this. Uh, that's really what this video is about. It's about this joystick and this throttle. So my throttle, my hands are on my throttle and my stick. So that's a HOTAS. Okay, and there's enough buttons all the way up and down this thing. I've got four toggle switches right here which have an up and a down. I've got some knobs. I've got more toggles here. I've got three modes that I can switch into and by switching modes I can have these buttons do something completely different. I have uh, spinners here and here. I have a slider here, a couple of hats here, a button, a mouse, two finger buttons here, another uh, pinky button there, another slider here. I have, um, a, uh, I can detach the two sides of my throttle so I can actually have a split throttle if that's something I wanted to do. Uh, that just makes this throttle extremely awesome. Now the joystick, it's nothing so, nothing special, you know, to be honest. I probably could have plugged in my uh, 
Extreme Pro, you know, and just kept that. It's no big deal. This is the main main thing that I got super excited about. But because they work together, and this does have a bunch of buttons. It's got a pinky button and a pinky trigger. It has a thumb button and a four finger trigger. And then it's got three distinctly shaped differently hats on the top, uh, which uh, are great. And then it also has a button there. And I think it does even have a button on the right side. It is also a twist uh, joystick, which is awesome. And uh, you can adjust the spring tension. You actually, it comes with four total springs that you can adjust and put the most or least or middle whatever spring you want to put on there. Okay, so now let me go ahead and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to set this off to the side just for a moment while I bring up the uh, Rhino software and so we can actually see that. And then after the Rhino software, when I, after I get done showing you a little bit of that, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the camera back here and you're going to get to see me fly a little bit using the Rhino. Uh, this is the system that I will be using with Star Citizen, which apparently comes out hopefully Monday. Uh, Monday that's when they're going to have the, a meeting to see if all the QA that was done over this weekend was successful. All right, so let's take a look at the software. All right, now this is the software that you see right here in front of me. Uh, this is from SciTech, the uh, X5, X55, uh, they call it the mock system which is like the military assault combat something, I don't know. And there's a little picture of a rhino right there. Okay, so now when you go to programming, right, you can program either one of the joysticks. You can program the joystick itself, or you can program the, uh, the uh, throttle. So let's click on the throttle. This is just an example, so you can kind of see how easy it is to control this. We click on the throttle, and it comes up with... Uh, a diagram of your throttle and if you want to program something let's let's say I want to program this button right there all you gotta do is highlight it see select it and it tells you which button that is that's the E button okay this is the E button that's the F button that's the G these are these are oh there are there are pushes okay hold on and then you got the scrolls and then the rotaries. Ah, so there are push buttons up there. Okay, cool. See, I just learned something just by showing you this video. Okay, uh, that's pretty cool. But now let's say I want to change this button on top, the F button, to be my brakes. So what I do is I just go to uh, setting up the macro, right? Because you can go uh, insert mouse scroll or hotkey quantitize time all that stuff I don't need to do any of that I just want to make it B for break and then I go here to check it that saves it there and let's make that a title let's call it a break okay and because um, yeah B is my break so in the game I will make sure that B the, the, the button B actually functions as the brake. Now I don't have this saved. This is a loaded profile, untitled. Let's go ahead and save this as War Thunder. Yeah, I do want to replace it. Okay. And let's use, um, that's the flaps, and that's a pretty good one for flaps. Uh, this could be, let's make this gear right that's down I need toggle for up there we go up that's gonna be gear up right G you know what toggle oh I didn't even save it okay let's go to save that and let's call it gear and then same thing with the down I'm just gonna make it G also so no matter which way I toggle that toggle it's either gear up or down right gear down Okay, so I've got gear and gear down. Okay, so there's my gears, and then there's my uh, brakes. Okay, if I were to ever uh, land, I would just hit that button on the top of this, and then it would be my brake. So let's go ahead and save that. Save, because I have it already uh, loaded right here. All right, so that's pretty That's pretty much how easy it is. It's super simple. Now, if see, notice the mode up here, because remember, you have three different modes. If I go with mode two, 
I can change all these same things. These buttons can all have additional uh, controls. Same thing with mode three, same thing. Go back to mode one, we already know that's a B. I'm not, I'm not gonna go B, 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 because that'll show uh, that it, um, what am I trying to say? It'll go break my, it'll go break off and on and off and on. I don't want that to happen. And so uh, let's see, we got the G's here for toggle four. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's just get out of this. And let's go ahead and load up War Thunder. And uh, I'm going to have the camera sitting behind me so you can right. actually see it. All right, I've got um, War Thunder up. I've got my throttle. And I've got my joystick. I've got my buttons assigned. And all I'm going to do is do like a little test flight. And we're going to um, see if I can't take off from a carrier, maybe fly, maybe land on uh, Midway Island. Okay, it just takes just a few moments. There we go, it's loaded up. And as you can see, I've got my head tracker software, so I can actually look left and look right. Okay, actually, that's right, huh? And then look left, and if I'm inside the cockpit, I can actually, you know, see my wings. I can turn around and see who's following me. Luckily, nobody. Um, so let's just go ahead and take this thing off. And I don't know if you can see the throttle, but here I go. I'm gonna start throttling up. I'm gonna follow up all the way. There it is, I'm more power. Starting to pick up. Ease off on the throttle, but what I want to do is raise the gear as it comes. Notice in my hands, I'm having to leave the voice at all. Push those down, it's getting too slow, it's all right. I want to say I should probably do it some speed. So I might speed going up. See around, there's the fleet I just flew off of. Um, and here's the joystick. Oh, much better. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it. I'm not trying to land on the carrier. I'm just flying around so you guys can see how easy it is to use this control system. Um, now, it's going to be super exciting to use this with um, Star Citizen, especially with this layout with the three monitors. So let's go ahead and go to Wake Island. Let's land and kind of show you. Is that air brakes? No. Okay. No air brakes. This plane doesn't have air brakes. And then I can toggle my map off of my joystick or my, you know. There are no boosters. So I'll take that out. Bounce it, bounce it, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, let's see if the brakes work. Oh, look at that, the brakes work. Yeah, you gotta hold it down for the brakes to work, which I'm doing. Okay, so I'm lined up for a, maybe I'm not lined up. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy off the ground. Up. More power. 
lined up, it's already lined up. We're going to go ahead and put some here. I'm going to be able to take off the weight before I get it. And there we have it. Let's go here. There it goes. Alright, we're ready. I can take my hand off here. It's going to stay there. It's not going to go anywhere. If I like my 70%. I'm going to shoot some stuff. I know I'm good friend with these, but so what, right? Just because it's cool. Was actually successfully landed. All right, and that is the Rhino X55, and I do plan on using that with our Star Citizen, and that's another one of our purple videos. Come back and check out what our headsets are going to look like.